Yesterday, we talked about what you do in real life when you have division problems because you can't go to the store and say, I would like 14 remainder two cookies, okay? In real life, we have to figure out what to do with the remainder when we're trying to solve problems that involve division. Yesterday, we talked about adding it, which means we make our answer one bigger because we need one more um, because of the remainder. Or we talked about dropping it, where we didn't need the remainder, the remainder wasn't part of our answer. Today we're going to talk about using the remainder and sharing the remainder, okay? Um, we're going to look at this problem first, with using the remainder. A campground has 148 camp campers with cabins that hold 28 campers. So this is pretty much the same problem we did yesterday, but I changed the question. If all the campers get a cabin, how many will be in the cabin that's not full? So yesterday, we wanted to know how many full cabins there are. Today, same problem, but how many are in the cabin that's not full? So we still need to use the same strategy to answer it. There's 148 campers, and they have 28 campers can fit in a cabin. So each cabin gets a group of 28, all right? So again, it's still important to know what each thing stands for. This is our campers, right? And this is our campers in a cabin. So how many in a cabin? Which means this answer up here will tell us how many cabins we need, okay? Or how many cabins we're gonna be using. So to work our way through this, can 28 go into one? Nope. Can it go into 14? Nope. Can it go into 148? Sure. About how many times? Well, we have to guess and check. Um, let's say 28 times 5, maybe. I'm trying to remember what the answer was from yesterday. 8 times 5 is 40. Carry the 4. 5 times 2 is 10 plus. So 140. Okay. So if we have um, 5 full cabins, those 5 full cabins will hold 140 campers. So 5, that's 140 campers. All right, so that means we have eight campers left over. So remember yesterday, we said the answer was that we had five full cabins. Well, today, I'm asking how many are in the cabin that is not full. So if all, okay, if all of them get a cabin, that means I'm gonna need six cabins because I'm gonna have to put these eight kids in a cabin. And it's asking me how many are in the one that's not full. So in the cabin that's not full, there's going to be eight campers, so it's going to be nice and roomy for them because there's only eight of them in that cabin. I suppose in real life we would spread them out and take some out of the other cabins, but this is a math problem, so. All right, so we have eight. So our answer would be there's eight campers in the cabin that's not full. All okay. right. All right. So now this one is also um, a very common real life problem, is when you don't wanna have any leftover of something. So you're gonna split everything absolutely equally. And in real life, everything doesn't work out to be exactly five or exactly six or exactly 10. Um, so we have what's called fractional amounts, okay? And so this deals a little bit with fractions, but I promise you it's pretty easy. All right, so um, let's go with a blue marker again. Kelvin and Kara are hiking over vacation. They plan to hike 63 miles in six days. How many miles do they need to hike each day to reach 63 miles? So here's my question. How many miles will it need to hike each day to reach 63 miles? Well, I already know that they're going 63 miles. And oh, here's what I need, six days. So they have to go 63 miles in six days. So they're going to need to split up that 63 miles evenly so that they can finish it in six days because I'm assuming they have to catch a plane back to wherever they're going or maybe they have work tomorrow. All right, so 63 miles and six days. So the answer is going to tell us how many miles they're gonna go each day or they're gonna to need to go each day. So, oh, this is easy. Six goes into six one time. I have zero left over. Bring down the three. Huh. Six will not go into three. So remember, I have to show that. I gotta put a placeholder. It's not gonna fit. Okay? So that's it. I don't have any other numbers to bring down, which is going to make this three 
my remainder. But wait a minute, they can't have 10 remainder three miles. If they have three miles left over, then they haven't hiked the whole 63. So what I need to do is I need to take that three miles and I need to split it and add it to each of the days. So I need to take that three miles and I need to split it by six and I need to add it to each day. Now this will work with things that can be split up. I can split up miles. We don't have to go a whole mile. So what I can do is if I'm going to turn this into a fraction so that I can add that fraction to each day. And the way that I do that is super easy. If I want to get rid of my remainder, I can turn it into a fraction and make it part of my answer. In order to turn it into a fraction, all I have to do is take my divisor and make it into the denominator. So now, instead of having a remainder, if I split that into six, I have three six, which also is the same thing as a half. So what that means is if they want to go the whole distance, they have to go 10 and 3, 6 miles a day. And that makes sense because I can split up miles. As you know, you don't have to walk or run a full mile. You don't have to live a full mile away from somewhere. You can live part of a mile, so that makes sense. So sharing it works when you have to use all of something in equal parts, and it's something that can be split up, okay? If we're talking about people or puppies or buses, I can't split those things into fractions. That doesn't make any sense. But if we're talking about miles or we're talking about a measurement or we're talking about time um, or we're talking about liquid and we can put just a little bit more in each cup, then those things we can share the remainder and turn the remainder into a fraction. So a lot of this has to just do with common sense. If you just sit back and say, in real life, what would I do? That's going to help you solve these problems.